thought this was kind of funny is I saw this prank video where it wasn't just any regular person making it. Apparently it was done in Quebec and it was city or province funded. It was supposed to raise awareness for drivers to stop speeding or to slow down when they see a pedestrian crosswalk. So what they did in this video was when a car went by this crosswalk area, normally you just see the line, for example, you slow down and stop, let the pedestrian pass. But in this case, you basically had whatever these were, like signs pop up right in the middle of the road. Everyone was stunned, like the passengers and the actual drivers and everything. It seemed like even the pedestrian themselves were shocked at this and everyone just had a laugh to see their reactions. I don't know if it was staged or anything like that, but I guess it's kind of hilarious and at the same time it reminds me again when it comes to things like raising awareness and all that. Stuff like this does work, like the arts and entertainment and all that, as opposed to just strictly saying, don't do this, or you get like a fine, etc, etc. Has to be kind of more of a positive spin to it as well. I thought this story was actually really interesting because people often say with things like flying drones and all that, oh no, the privacy, you can capture everything, you can see so close up. Whereas in this case here, someone accidentally apparently captured some footage of people doing something, I guess you could say, personal. And basically the couple was actually very happy that the person captured it. It says here, Chicago couple's engagement luckily caught by drone photographer. Under the wood pavilion in Lincoln Park, a local photographer accidentally caught a Chicago couple's engagement. Brett Herbura was using his drone to photograph autumn colors in Lincoln Park November 1st when he saw something that caught his eye. Some guys down there on one knee and I just remember thinking, if he is and I'm right, then I need to make sure to get this shot, Herbura said. Back on the ground, Brian Bradshaw was indeed proposing to his girlfriend, Abby Skimilling. Brian, who met Abby almost two years ago at a church event, had it planned it two weeks before. Saying, quote, We got there about 4.30, so we said, we have about an hour to kill. So I was like, all right. Schmeling said, he was really confident on where we were going, and I was like, why do you know where we are going? Brian's a bit of a romantic. Every month, the young minister writes a love letter to Abby. The things that we've done, the fun that we've had, Bradshaw said, just wanting to create a place for us to look back in our relationship. On the walk to Lincoln Park, he handed Abby his last missive. And it apparently said, I choose you, and in about five seconds, I guess we'll find out if you choose me. And that's when I got down on my knee and asked her to marry me. So of course, she said yes, and again, during this exact moment, the person flying the drone just happened to have caught the moment. And the funny thing about this is that person had no clue basically what was going on, and so what he did was he posted it on social media apparently, asking people, do you know these people? Because they would like to, I suppose, share like the moment with them. And pretty quickly, with the help of the social media, basically they did find the couple, and they were actually really happy that the person caught the moment. Apparently the guy was really happy to say it's so great to see him go down on his knees to recapture that moment and everything like that. It says here, quote, the pictures weren't enough and this was just icing on the cake of being so awesome. So it's kind of a different twist, I guess, to that whole thought of these things flying in the air, invading people's privacy and all that. Whereas in this case, someone captured a really special moment that people really valued. And again, it makes me think of that thing where it's an open public. I mean, generally speaking here, there's no quote expectation of privacy. So it's always weird to me when people say out in the public, like, hey, it's my privacy and all that. I mean, people take pictures with their smartphones and stuff all the time. Many people end up in the background. Whereas in this case, it makes me think again with one of those, okay, what do you have to hide? It's out in the open public, you're like a little dot. I'm actually surprised the guy actually noticed that. Because for myself anyways, when I fly, I use this small smartphone, so maybe he had a bigger screen. I'm actually, again, surprised he actually noticed it. Yeah, I have the other pistachio nuts that the guy gave me the other day. Let me try that. I tore through that pretty easily.
Okay, let's see if this will work. Is it the same guy? Okay, the next girl I find that stays there like that, I'm gonna get them the walnut that it's half cracked already. It actually came like that in the package. Let's see if they actually eat that or if they actually try to bury it. Remember what you guys say? If they notice, like, say, a peanut or whatever is open, they'll actually eat it on the spot too. Although some of them, like I said, they actually just sit there and eat it. I think that small one that I see would usually sit there and eat it, but I haven't seen it in a while. I guess there's no flying today too, huh? I guess time for the archive. Alright, see you guys later.